take all this stuff off. Look at this boat. Look at this. Let's pull up right here. And look here, son. Got a nice view on some lifted trucks. Yes, sir. Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Willie Weasel here. And today we got this 2018 Husky FC350. And in today's video, we're going to be out running around, riding wheelies, running them up, normally like we do in every other video. But just let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Let's uh, do away with the old intro of like just showing the bike off and getting into it. If you guys want to see the bike, you're going to look at it later in the video. <laughs> blue horn too <laughs> let's go a few moments later <laughs> what's going on balls what you say let's jump this hump right here <laughs> that was pretty slick pretty slick can't say i wouldn't let's throw it back right here though big forearms they said I did and uh, that's actually kind of funny to me because over there <laughs> anyway as I was saying before I rudely interrupted myself uh, somebody commented on a video the other day and said I got big forearms, right? I don't have big forearms. I'm 5'10". I'm like 142, 143 pounds right now. Uh, I just started going back to the gym Monday. It is Friday. If you guys want to see gym content, let me know because I can literally just include that in the videos. Like every Saturday or something like that, do like uh, right around that day and then go to the gym and record some content or something like that. I have my tripod with me and my GoPro. Go and just set up and record me do like a Sam Sulek style kind of just sit down and talk vlog, you know? Just sit down, discuss some gym stuff. Talk about the, you know, the riding for the next week you know just stuff like that just go down and just have like a pro session at the gym let me know down in the comments below if you guys would actually like to see that because i feel like working out in dirt bikes or working out like riding kind of go hand in hand you know if usually if you ride you work out usually if you work out you ride something 
<laughs> Wait, bars? <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Alright boys, quick question. Here's a serious question. Leave down in the comments below what you guys do when it comes to shifting. A lot of people, like, they comment, they'll be like, how do you shift when you're on a wheelie? Or how do you shift when you're trying to go fast? Like, do you use clutch, you speed shift, or whatever, right? I ain't gonna lie, like a lot of times, literally every time I'm on a wheelie, I'm speed shifting, right? Every single time I'm on a wheelie, I'm speed shifting. I never downshift without using the clutch unless I'm on a wheelie, and you gotta do it just right. Like, right, look, we're cruising in fifth gear. If I wanted to downshift, I would have to go smack the throttle as I downshift. You want to go up a gear? Kind of the same thing. So you got a rev match. I don't know how to explain it. Flip that hand when you shift. A lot of people don't know how to do it. I'll do it on a wheelie, but like when I'm going fast, like I'll do it through here. Hold on, I'll show you. I don't touch the clutch. Kind of like you do it on a sport bike. Quicker in third. But look, you lay into it, right? Don't touch the clutch. Hand off the clutch. quick shifter you smack the shifter really quick when you get the throttle and rpm in that little that special place i don't know usually it's higher rpm most of the time it's like right before you get to a really high rpm it'll shift really smoothly later all right boys now here's time to test if we can get it done while on a wheelie right we're gonna go by on a wheelie see if we can't get him to blow the horn let's see come on boys come on yeah let's go yes sir <laughs> All right, boys, we're going to set the camera up here on our phone. I've got an idea. I want to ride a wheelie by here, but I want to have like a really, really high point of view to show it. All right, boys, making our way along the ledge. If you know where we're at, drop a like on the video. I've been up here a couple times. Quite a few times actually just in older videos one on a 250r at 23 when i had balls honestly this might not be the greatest idea ever because uh, there's been quite a few shootings going on in kentucky and uh people might see me setting up the tripod and be like oh my god he's setting up a sniper rifle call the law balls that would be insane i'd be like literally it's just a tripod for a camera i got proof right here's the video meanwhile Later. All right, boys. Now let's take our dirt scooter out to the end of up here. Instead of walking, let's ride out this one. I know we can. I've done it before. Just don't know how much sketchier it's got. It was kind of sketchy in some spots, like right there. Can't really see much. Don't know if there's any holes or anything. up so it's a little bit less stressful on them. Uh, Bulls, I think we took the wrong turn. Now we can go out here and go up that little slope. Right here. Should be just fine. Whoa. Bulls, look at how up we are. If we fall off this, we're free. legitimately risking my life right now for this because uh it's not like this is a cakewalk or anything oh there's a 
tree right here with the top of the barn. Let's break all this stuff off. Look at this bolt. Look at this. Let's pull up right here. And look here, son. Got a nice view on some lifted trucks. Yes, sir. Look at some fishing poles. Poles, though, you can't say this isn't sick. Like, this is pretty freaking sick. Poles, let's hope they didn't call in on me. No, there's an ambulance. Look. Twelve seconds later. All right, boys. Note to self: hang left on the way out of here, because it seemed to be easier. I'm squeeze through some of these little places and try to hang left. Ooh, that just seemed to be easier, and then goes up and puts me right through some weeds. A tree. These ain't even weeds. I'd rather go through the waves though than go off the mountain.